What's going on everybody? Andy Harper here again today at Sick Tricks. Um, I want to thank everybody that's been subscribing to my YouTube channel, watching my videos. That's something I wanted to start out with today. I wanted to thank you guys for subscribing, liking, um, to the few people that commented on my last video. Thank you guys. It, it means a lot. We're up to like 240, 200, between 240 and 260 uh, followers or subscribers. So, so that's awesome. I want to thank you guys a lot for that. I don't know where I'd be without you guys today. No, I'm not making money off of YouTube. For any of you that don't know how being monetized on YouTube works, you need 4,000 watch hours and you need 1,000 subscribers. So hit that subscriber button and help me grow a little bit. We're still going to be doing giveaways. Our next milestone giveaway is uh, 350 subscribers. To those of you that haven't gotten your stuff yet for the first subscriber giveaway, please get a hold of me. Um, I know the winners of the first subscriber giveaway, William Guthrie, he already got his stuff. He won the bearing lubrication. Devin Clark won a $25 Amazon gift card. Devin, please get a hold of me if you see this video. And Alex Carmody, you won a t-shirt. Your t-shirt's still in the works. I'm trying to specialize it just for you. It's going to have your name printed on it. It's going to, it's going to have something between me and you because Alex Carmody happens to be not only one of my sponsors, but he also happens to be one of my best friends. And to those of you out there that think, oh, look at that. William Guthrie won, Devin Clark won. Yeah, and yes, I know all of these people on a personal note. Um, William Guthrie is actually my fiance's little brother. Devin Clark is actually, I, I never raced with him, but he was in the racing world at the same time of me. And like I said, Alex is my best friend. Me and Alex have grown a lot over the past 12 years. Alex and I worked at the same company for a year. You, me and Alex are good friends. A lot of you guys might think the drawings are rigged. I promise you they are not. And if you've got a suggestion anyway that I can make the drawing look any more authentic and not staged, let me know. Um, because I want you guys to see that it is fair. So let me know. Today, I'm going to be getting into a vi this video by starting off with saying it, we're on the verge of winter time here in New York. And for those of you that know anything about scooters, you can't ride scooters in the snow. So that's that's very unfortunate. It, it saddens me and it worries me and I'm really nervous um, to what comes with the YouTube channel because scooter content, I can only do so much videos on you know my scooter and William's scooter and scooter parts and scooter this and scooter that. I can only do so much about scooters but there's a fine line where I need to be able to get outside and make you guys a video you know of me actually riding so I'm going to be doing a couple videos of uh, maybe the parts and stuff and how I got my scooter and what it costs etc but that brings me to my next kind of explanation. You know, I can sit here and I can make a video about scooters, or I can make a video about video games, or I can make a video about anything, but this is what most YouTubers don't do. They make a YouTube channel, and they make their own quality, they make their own video of what they want to make, and that's how it all starts off, and they end up drawing in an audience that enjoys what they're doing you know there's youtubers out there that do ghost adventures and what kind of audience are they getting they're getting people that like a scare they like they a lot of the uh, ghost adventure videos are funny to me people that like funny things people that like funny and spooky stuff at the same time you know they're drawn to the ghost adventure youtube channels and then you got dirt bike riders I can go to anywhere in this country and find someone that doesn't like dirt bike riding. Unfortunately, I love dirt bike riding. It's awesome. It's fun, you know. But there's always going to be people out there that don't like everything. So what I actually want to do that a lot of YouTubers don't do is I want to ask you guys. I want to ask you guys just what type of videos you would like me to make. You know, leave a comment down in the, down in the comment box. 
because I want to fit your guys' interests. I don't want to just do what I want to do. I want to do what you guys are interested in. I know not all of you that are subscribed to my channel are probably interested in scooters. And that's okay. Not everyone's interested in what as someone else is interested in. You know, that's just how things work. That's how life works. Everyone has an opinion. They're entitled to their opinion. And that brings me to the next subject is, you know, I've already gone over, you know, scooters during the winter time. There's not going to be a lot of it. The closest indoor skate park to me is either New York City or Rochester, and that's a that, that's a four hour drive for me. So yeah, I'm not gonna go to the the indoor skate park every day or every weekend or even during the winter months. I probably unfortunately will not go at all, only because of the whole coronavirus COVID. I, do I believe in it? I'm gonna be honest. I do. I know people that have died from COVID. And it sucks, you know, so guys, stay safe. I'm not pushing my agenda on you because I don't really care what you do. Stay safe. And if you don't, and if you're rebellious, you know, good for you guys. I'm a little rebellious too. You know, I don't always wear my mask out in public, whatever. But like I said, I want you guys to leave a comment down in the box below. And I want you guys to tell me what kind of videos you would like to see me post during the winter months you know i think i'm gonna start doing this from now on when the weather's bad outside i'm gonna let you guys know when it's winter time i want you guys to pick just what type of videos i make i have a playstation i can broadcast my gameplay i play call of duty i play racing games you know whatever i can test games for you so you know whether you want to go out there and buy them or not that's not a problem i don't have a problem with that but you guys need to let me know because I don't want you subscribing to my channel and never watching my videos because you're just not interested. So help me out a little bit. Give me some input of what you guys would like to see. I would also like to go over something that I think is incredible. You know, I have seen on Facebook, social media, this new energy drink that's out for people that go to the gym, athletes, you know, people that enjoy energy drinks. And I saw a new energy drink out there. It's not in stores, at least where I'm at. I know it's not in stores. But this energy drink that I'm going to be showing you guys is actually the best energy drink that I have ever had. And that energy drink just so happens to be Ray's Energy. Ray's Energy has zero sugar. It's got its BCAA aminos, electrolytes, no crash. And when they say no crash, they mean no crash. I drink three of these in one day. Not healthy at all. I know. I'm stupid. But I didn't crash at all. I used to wrestle in high school, and I tried, like, an energy lollipop one time. And I don't even know if they still make them anymore. But I was at a wrestling tournament, and I bought one of these energy lollipops. 20 minutes later, I was sleeping in the bleachers and missed half of the tournament. So... It's, it's crazy just what some energy drinks can do to you, but I've had all of the energy drinks that you can think of. Red Bull, Monster, Rockstar, NOS, Venom. There's a Venom energy drink out there. I don't think it's as popular, but I've tried it. You know, I've tried all the energy drinks. And don't get me wrong, they're all good. They all have a good taste. By far, my favorite tasting energy drink before Ray's was Red Bull. I loved the taste of Red Bull, but now that I've had Ray's, I'm definitely never going back, guys. There's just something about it. They have so many different flavors. They have, I mean, just look at the design. It's, it's sleek. It's got a good design to it. So why not try it? Why not give it a try? Just go over to Ray's.com. They have tons of different flavors. They have a free sample pack. You pay shipping. I know the flavor I'm holding right now is guava mango. Last night, I tried a sour gummy worm. And let me be honest with you. Sour gummy worm energy drinks don't sound good. They, they It sounds kind of gross. But I tried it, and I, it was actually really good. I'm very impressed. They have another flavor called Apollo. And on the can, it shows a Statue of Liberty with a background of the American flag. And... They're so out there, I want to say. I don't know if that's the right word for it. But you look at some of the names of these, of their flavors, and you're like, man, 
it's not really a dist it doesn't give you an explanation of what it tastes like and i'm sure if you go online you can find a general idea of what it must, might taste like but everyone's taste buds are different um but the apollo to me honestly kind of tasted almost like skittles if i could be completely honest with you and i love skittles skittles are the best candy and i don't eat candy that much um, there's another one called Galaxy Burst, and this is where I, I'm going to be a little bit honest with Ray's Energy. The Galaxy Burst, in my opinion, like I said, everyone's taste buds are different, but I didn't really enjoy it that much. And I have no problem with giving an honest review about it. I don't know what it was about it. It, it tasted, I can't even explain the taste. If a Galaxy were to, were to burst and... For some reason, people are, like, sticking their tongue out in the air, I guess. I, I guess that's what it would taste like. But it's not something I'm interested in. Um, and that's unfortunate. And another thing, if you do get the free sample packets, you're actually going to get these nice sugar packets with the, like, a raised secret formula in there. And you can actually just add that to water, and it'll be almost the same. And this is where I got to be honest again. I personally don't enjoy the packets. I like carbonation in my energy drinks, and some people don't like carbonation in their energy drinks. So if you don't like carbonation in your energy drinks, they sell packets that you can add to water. But besides that, I'm a, thank you, Ray's, like, for making such a great product. I enjoy it a lot. I'm definitely going to be getting more, and I just really enjoy it. They've got a lot of nice merchandise on there. I know I got a t-shirt. I really enjoy that, wearing it to the skate park. It's got a nice fit to it. So, Ray's, you're doing great. You've got an awesome thing going, and keep it up. The last thing I want to go over today, I don't want to keep you guys, uh, you know, this is already a 12-minute video, but, again, I want to personally thank you guys. Like, thank you. You have no idea it's awesome. My last video had over 3,000 views, which 3,000 views, you know, it's a lot for me, but if you get like a YouTuber that gets 24,000 views and they only get a video with 3,000 views on it, they're going to be pooping their pants. They're, they're going to be ashamed of themselves, but I've dreamt of getting over a thousand in the video before my last video, we did over a thousand and I dreamt of getting more than 2,000 in my last video. We got over 3,000. So, you know, guys, I can't thank you enough. You have no idea how much this means to me. And like I said already, I'm not making money off of YouTube. And even if I do, it's not going to change the fact that I'm still going to, I'm not going to be a, like, rude to you guys. I don't know if YouTubers do that. But, like, they start off small and once they get big, they change, they get, they get douchey, you know, that's not going to be me. I'm going to stay true with you. So thank you guys so much, and like I said, leave a comment down below of just what type of videos you might want me to put out there, you know? You want to learn how to tie a tie, and you go watch these other videos and you can't figure out how to tie a tie, I'll, I'll show you. I don't have a problem with making weird videos that have nothing to pertain with what I do. I ride scooters man like i don't want to sit here and talk to you about you know the charlotte's web but if that's something you're into i'll sit here and have a live discussion with you on charlotte's web i don't have a problem with it you know i'm i just got a nice ride next year for racing go-karts from alex comedy and my other buddy he let me race a 212 lap race a couple weeks ago and that was really enjoyable you know i had a lot of fun i got frustrated can't lie about that but I got a full-time ride racing go-karts next year. So if you guys want to watch me race go-karts, I have no problem with putting a GoPro on the cart itself. And you guys can watch me race around and have some fun with uh, the racing world and my racing family. But besides that, guys, I want to personally, on a serious note, thank you again. I'm speechless. You guys leave me speechless week after week. I know it's been a while since I posted my, another video, but it's just been busy, you know. I go to work, I get a day off of work, and I'm called into work on my days off. It, my life's a little hectic right now. Um, I currently live at my parents' house with my fiancé, and it's it's kind of embarrassing, you know. 
I love my parents to death, don't get me wrong, and I enjoy spending time with them, but me and my fiance Maddie are actually looking into getting an apartment, and that's going to be a big step, you know, we haven't really had to be on our own before. So if you guys got any tips for that, let me know, and I'll uh, document my life moving into an apartment. I don't, you know, I'm trying to appease to what you guys would like to see, and I don't have a problem with that. But again, guys, I'm sorry for keeping you so long today. I just had a lot of good news, a lot of bad news, and that I really wanted to go over and touch base with you guys. So thank you so much. Stay tuned to the channel. There will be more videos coming out. And if you guys, for whatever reason, can't communicate with me, you can't give me something to do, then, you know, I'll do a bunch of different stuff. I don't have a problem with that. I'll play Modern Warfare. You guys, if you uh, have an Activision account or you play Modern Warfare, Warzone, etc., any other PlayStation game, Xbox game, cross-play game, you know, send put a comment down in, this, down in the comment bar, and I'll send you my Activision account, and we'll run some games together. But thank you guys so much. Sorry for keeping you so long. Have a good one.